हेलो हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक इफ यू आर रेगुलर हियर माय नेम इज अनिरुद्ध थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग मी इन अनदर लिटिल वॉटर कलर डेमो टुडे आई एम पेंटिंग अ नाइट सीन इट्स अ सीन फ्रॉम समवेयर इन लिस्बन पोर्चुगल this was meant to be a value study in black and white but as i began my line work i thought i'd add a further twist to it and opted to introduce a couple of colors so i'm starting my approach or i started my approach by uh, wetting down the sources of light and introducing a little bit of warm color around the light sources what i'm painting now can essentially be called the underpainting the color of the light night scenes require a lot of paint they require you to you to go quite dark keeping that in mind even in this first wash i am going to cover the entire paper with one layer of paint I left the sky for later because I wanted to add a cooler color to that area. The color I'm actually using is a mix of uh, orange and blue. Both the warm and the cool is the same mix, but I've uh, varied the quantity of those two colors. One point I forgot to mention was uh, some of the light sources i have covered with the masking fluid before i began laying in the initial wash as the whole paper is wet the paint will flow in all directions as that happens i'm trying to maintain those light sources by uh, lifting some of the color there foreground area is often darker so i'm adding more strength there to create a sense of depth even at this very initial stage that is about it for layer 1 i'm going to let it dry and then come back and add my midtones kindly allow me a few seconds to talk about my offerings on skillshare if you like my way of painting and want to learn how to do so yourself i publish full length tutorials over on skillshare you can use the link in the description below to get one month free access to the platform all right now back into the video in a night scene a large part of it can be considered as mid tone value because of this when laying in the mid tones it's best to mix in a large pool of color as you will be covering almost the entire painting again as i always do i try to connect my mid tones in one wet wash at the same time i'm mindful of uh, keeping my light sources looking like light sources this was meant to be a practice piece but if i was painting the same scene again in a larger size my approach would be the same that is why i do these value studies
although when doing the larger size painting there is the added level of complexity of uh, all the colors that makes making these connections that i'm making now significantly more difficult I myself did not mix enough paint when I was starting this layer off. That is a very painful mistake each time I make it because that means that halfway through the wash I have to mix the color again. Not only is it difficult to get the same shade, it also means that I lose some of those lovely connections that I was making in the mid tones leading to hard edges. Now that I've mixed in a fresh pool of color, I'm going over all the spots that could have potentially given me hard edges, which means that I pretty much need to go over that entire section of mid tones one more time. It's a risky step to take because this is when uh, cauliflowers happen. But as this is a practice piece. I am more than happy to take that risk as risk means learning as well mid tone layer is more or less done now i will now move on to my darks This time I've made sure that I've mixed in a large strong puddle of paint. In night scenes it is quite common to find the dark areas connected as well. Also notice how for this uh, layer of darks my color mix is much cooler than the initial layers for each layer i have actually mixed in my color to be cooler and cooler I like having a variation of edges in my paintings. That's why you can notice me softening the occasional edge while leaving some of the hard edges alone. Now on to the next section of dark. When working with elements so far in the background, it doesn't matter what those elements actually are. Just need to denote that there are things there. Like random lights or just a hint that there is a vehicle or a person walking no need to be very detailed in those areas as i tackle the front part of this building on the right i have already taken the decision that i don't want the viewer's attention to be drawn to that area too much at the same time it is in the foreground so I will need to add a fair amount of dark value there. 
pretty similar approach as the background here as well. I just want to indicate that there are things there. There are shop windows and light sources without actually going into the details of uh, what they are. When filming a painting, I usually keep my paper in a fixed position. But when uh, painting for myself, when I'm having fun, I often tend to rotate the paper quite a bit to get uh, my angles right. In this instance, I was having so much fun that I forgot all about the camera. And you can see, my, see me rotating the paper. This actually happens to be the first time I'm using hot press paper. I did not like it very much in the past, but this particular painting is somehow changing my mind about hot press paper. We're now almost at the finishing line of our painting just adding finishing touches here and there and removing the masking fluid I laid out before I started. Also need to add some rough human figures just to provide a sense of scale to the whole scene. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little demo. Do like and subscribe, do all the YouTube things. It's only your encouragement and feedback that provides me the motivation to do more of these. With that said, I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you for joining.